I'm Sebastian Davies, a learning experience expert at Dassault Systems. Hello, and welcome to this video on adding elements and activities to customize a block. Custom blocks require two things to make them fully functional, an element and an activity. The element indicates the grip points we use to manipulate the custom block in the drawing. With an element placed, an activity specifies how the custom block changes or moves when interacting with the element grip point in the drawing. In this video, we will apply elements and activities to create a custom block. So, let's get started. In order to customize a block, it must first be opened in the block editor. Although there are multiple element types available, please note that only certain elements and activities are compatible with one another. Here, we can see a compatibility table. A mirror element is only compatible with a mirror activity, while a point element can work with move or stretch activities. We will apply a mirror element. We want this to be the midpoint of the door, so we will hold shift and right click to access the eSnaps contextual menu and select mid between two points. With the middle of the door defined, we will indicate the mirror line and position of the element name, and finally, the number of grips. The exclamation mark indicates that the element needs an activity assigned to it for it to be successful. We will apply a mirror activity, selecting the element and then the entities that we want to mirror. This removes the element exclamation mark warning and shows a successful activity icon. We also want to rotate this block, so we will select a rotate element and specify the base point the custom block will rotate about. Next, we set an angle and the number of grips. We made a mistake in placing the grip as we wanted it on the top corner opposite the base point. Rather than deleting the element and placing it again, we will simply drag drop the grip to the preferred position. We will then apply a rotate activity, selecting the element and the associated entities. With this done, we will close the block editor and save to test our custom block. Clicking on the custom block shows its grips. First, we will use the mirror to check we can change the door swing when required. We need to rotate the door which we will do by clicking on the rotate grip and positioning it in the door opening. Through these simple steps, we can customize a standard block to allow us to change its position and appearance with a few clicks, increasing its uses while reducing design times. 